we're off to the ice for sport. Here's Ruth. Hughes Insurance sponsors UTV Sport. Good evening. It's been a long 18 months for everyone associated with the Belfast Giants. Instead of fans flocking here to cheer on their team, the SSE Arena became the largest vaccination centre in Northern Ireland. Now the ice is back and the Giants can welcome a full house once again for the first time since March last year as they take on the Dundee Stars in their first home game of the season. They say home is where the heart is. Belfast Giants returned to the SSE Arena this evening for a match for the first time since the pandemic began. The match will be Northern Ireland's first full capacity indoor sporting event in over 18 months. For head coach Adam Keefe, it has been a long time coming. It's very exciting. I think obviously it adds to the to the excitement and adds to uh, that feeling on a game night when you come out. There's nothing like a playing in, in front of a packed house or anything like that. Obviously, the um, you know the fans end up being your sixth man and really push you on in times when maybe the play is going the opposite way and you need that fan support to really uh, kickstart that intensity or uh, drive up the energy levels. So to be able to entertain them again is, is extra special and uh, we won't take that for granted. The fans are going to be lively on, on uh, Friday night and we're excited to, to see... Um, what they got, the louder it gets, the more harder we play, the more faster we play. And uh, at the end of the day, it's, it's all about playing hard, fast and winning the game. So we're excited. After two wins on the road last weekend, the Giants will be hoping to make it three on the spin. Daniel Duffy, UTV Live. Ulster Rugby are back in action after their opening win of the season last weekend. They travel to Zebra where 19-year-old scrum half Nathan Doak will make his first start for the province. Uh, he has a real understanding of the game and he has a calmness about him, but he's super competitive. Um, you know, obviously the environment he grew up in at, at home with, with uh, you know, with, with Neil and that, it, he's been in that rugby environment. He has such a good understanding of the game and um, he has gr great potential. He's certainly by no means the finished article. He knows that, but he has a, a great attitude towards getting better. Leah McCourt returns to the Bellator cage tonight in London. She takes on Jessica Borga in the co-main event at Wembley as she continues her quest for a world title shot. Every fight you want to make a statement and put on a good performance and that's the same as this fight. You don't come in, had a great camp, um, feeling good and just want to uh, perform on the night. That's always the goal and I feel so blessed to be in this position and I uh, just can't wait to, to, to fight night. That is all your sport from the SSE Arena tonight at just over half an hour's time. The first event since March 2020 will take place here as the Belfast Giants return to the ice in their first home game of the season. Bye for now. Hughes Insurance sponsors UTV Sport. Now it's time to reveal our Daily Mirror Pride of Britain winner. I think we need a drum roll or something yes. like that, but Paul Riley was the lucky person who got to deliver the good news. It's been my privilege to spend time with all our finalists. They are exceptional people, each one of them an inspirational fundraiser. But there can only be one winner, and I have the brilliant job of surprising them. Christina? Congratulations, you are UTV's Pride of Britain winner. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at all our people. Wow. It's fair to say you were not expecting this tonight. No, 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 no. <laughs> not at all. Just remind, wow. just remind everyone <laughs> what all about all about us ASD teens means to you. Oh my goodness! Look at all these people. This is what it means to me. They're all our family. <laughs> look at all these people. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and when you think about all the work you've done over the years to to raise awareness and to raise funds, how how do you feel knowing that you are our Pride of Britain winner? 
Yeah, you're absolutely shocked. I've, I've just been watching the news before I came out. <laughs> I am so shocked, honestly. And just remind our viewers the work that your group does. Um, we work with young people with additional needs um, and we do youth club activities, we do courses, we do trips. We, uh, we just make great friends and we all support each other. The kids support each other, the adults support each other and we just have great crack while we do it, don't we? <laughs> and I'm sure there will be plenty of crack when you go to London for the awards. Wow. Are you looking forward to that? <laughs> you might be looking at a few people here wondering who you're going to take with you. I'm like, wow. <laughs> well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, once again, give a big round of applause to your part of the Oh, fabulous. Congratulations to yeah. Christina. Definitely thank you. Well done to everyone who entered. Yes, brilliantly well deserved. Now let's check the weather. Here's Louise. Come rain, hail or shine, you can always rely on the good things in life. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Hello there, good evening. Plenty of sunshine and blustery showers today, really setting the scene for this weekend. And for anyone taking part in the marathon on Sunday, the heaviest showers are expected across western counties, so mostly hit and miss in the east with gusts of up to 30 miles per hour. Looking at the pressure chart, low pressure continues to dominate this weekend, bringing sunny spells and the odd blustery shower. Saturday should be a better day, though, as we're snuggled between two areas of low pressure. However, Sunday will become more unsettled across western areas. Some of today's showers will linger through into the early part of this evening. They will generally tend to ease overnight, but turn heavier across western counties. Cloud will build with southerly winds easing, with some showers by dawn and temperatures dipping into low single figures. Saturday will start cloudy and damp. Any early rain will move northeast to leave a bright day with sunny spells and the occasional heavy shower. With lighter winds, it will be a better day than today, with temperatures reaching highs of 12 to 13 degrees Celsius. Across the rest of Ireland, it's the same story, sunshine and shower, some of which could turn blustery with winds of up to 30 miles per hour blowing in from the coast with highs of 14. So temperatures just below average for this time of year. That's the latest. Have a lovely evening. Home means more when you discover and explore. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Now, before we go, a reminder all around Britain's back on Sunday. With a look at it, here's Rhea Hebden and Alex Beresford. This week on All Around Britain, we're in Northern Ireland at the very shipyard where the Titanic was built. Yes, we'll explore the dry dock where the world's most famous liner sat on the eve of her first and last voyage and go on board her little sister ship, the SS Nomadic. Plus, we'll pick up our paintbrushes and play our part in Belfast's growing street art scene. Also on the show this week... The soldier from South Yorkshire taking on a mountain to mark an important anniversary. We meet the power lifter from Warwick who's breaking records and barriers. I want this to be a, the floodgates for many more girls to get involved in strength sports because why can't girls be strong? <laughs> and the former coal mining site in South Wales that's now giving people a new perspective. So we'll see you this Sunday at 11.55 on ITV. For another trip all around Britain. Lucrezia Millerini is here next with the ITV Evening News. And I'll be back with the late UTV Live at 10.30. From all the team, have a good evening and a great weekend. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.